how can you prevent cyber attacks? So how do you prevent attacks? So there's several ways. Um, proper zero trust security that follows the NIST cybersecurity framework is one you know, critical way to do it. Um, security posture training is another way. Um, putting in safeguards that'll assist teachers, staff, administration, um, DPW workers, library, police, fire, any, anybody that has access to the network. Putting those safeguards in place that helps them if they inadvertently click on a malicious link or open an attachment that has a payload in it. So there are ways to prevent the access from, from the network. Um, sandboxing is another great way. Sandboxing is actually taking attachments or resumes you know, that are sent over to HR that contain payloads. It takes those resumes, those attachments, it puts it into a system um, and it opens them up. If there's a payload in it, it detonates it. So that way um, it's separated from your network. The, the detonation of that payload does not affect your network, does not allow a threat actor to compromise your system. Um, and it happens before the teachers, the staff, or administration, or um, your local town workers have access to the system, if you have access to the files. Uh, another way we can implement technologies, um, it's called EDR, XDR, MDR, and they're readily avail available. However, it's only one small piece of the puzzle. We generally see EDR as a solution um, post ransomware attack. We see a lot of insurance companies or the, the companies that go in and do the remediation. We see them put an EDR in place to help clean up the network, but that doesn't necessarily patch everything. It doesn't necessarily get you the NIST cybersecurity framework or it doesn't, certainly doesn't help you with the security posture training, but it is you know, one of the technologies that are in use you know, as a quick fix to help with some ransomware attacks. Again, one tool is a larger puzzle.